Okay, let's check out 21 through 25 on the 7th grade MCA packet. Uh, number 21, we we're just asked to simplify the following expression. And we got a few things going on here. Um, I would take care of the distributive property first. So we're going to distribute that 3 to both terms on the inside since we're multiplying. So 3 times 4 gives me 12. And 3 times minus 1t is going to give me a 3t. Okay, and then I have minus uh, this guy right here. And I'm actually going to take care of that. That's 13 times 5 to the second power. So I've got to do 5 to the second power first. So this is 25 uh, times 13. So let's do 13 times 25 real quick. And we get 15, 7, 0, 5, and 2. Add those together. side and do the right side. I'm going to add 6. I always look to add or subtract something over first if I can. And I'm left with 3t equals uh, 48 plus 6 is going to get me to 54. So in order to figure this out, I'm going to divide by 3 and we'll get t equals. Uh, if you don't know that, you can do this. So 18, so we're looking for t equals 18. All right, 
AC for that one as well. Okay, 24. Uh, solving for B, now they have variables on either side of the equation. And now uh, you've got some options. I am going to uh, subtract 3B on both sides. I call this getting your besties together, get those variables together. Uh, so 6B minus 3B is 3B. We also have the minus 8 still there. besties together so I want to get rid of anything else and I'm going to add 8 to both sides so 3b equals 27 and then we divide by 3 on both sides and we got b equals 9 so we're we'll looking at d for that one right there all right and lastly number 25 all right uh, we have a TV watcher. So Aaliyah watches TV between 60 and 120 minutes each Tuesday. All right, so we're going to want to know that. Um, between 60 and 120 on Tuesdays. Okay. On Wednesday, she watches twice as much TV as she did on Tuesday. So which of the following expressions represents the amount of TV watching uh, she did on Wednesday. This one's kind of tricky. They want you to fall into their trap. Uh, we need the, the situation to represent this. If it were truly double the amount, she'd be watching anywhere from 120 to 240. Which one of those, when we solve for x, is going to show us? Um, I actually should have used a different variable here. It doesn't really matter. Um, but when we solve, for x, which one of these is going to give us uh, what we want, which would be between 120 and 240. And the correct answer here is 8, because in order to solve for x, you'd have to multiply by 2 um, to solve for x, which would double the 60, and it would double the 120, and we'd be left with x when we get that. So don't fall into that trap. They want you to, they want you to circle one of those 